Hello, it's Sarah. And I filmed this a couple times, but I decided to do a what's on your bracelet video for Pandora. So, happy new year everybody. And um my latest obsession has been Pandora. Now, before about 4 videos ago, I did um, an origami owl video where I compared Pandora because I never realized that they actually Pandora has the um, the floating lockets so I was comparing and sh and I don't have one of theirs but I did get a bracelet and um, I had Pandora in the past and I collected it and I loved it and it got stolen and I was a little sour about jewelry in general and just decided I had gotten this bracelet which is just a silver ball chain that I was just going to start small and start building my jewelry, all my jewelry, like most of my jewelry got stolen and just start building a collection. I started with silver and then I don't know for whatever reason I saw I started seeing the Pandora shares and hauls and of course the next thing you know I was like a little obsessed so um, the holidays happened and they had a lot of really good sales and I've been shopping on eBay and so today I got the last of my orders and my bracelet is pretty filled so I'm just going to share it um, and the other thing was um, I don't know that I think I will continue to make these. I don't know. This is my channel. I can do what I want. So, all right. Um, all right. So, let's share. So, in the previous video, I showed you guys that I had ordered this bracelet, which is one of the, um, it just has a lobster claw clasp. Now, my original one had the barrel clasp, which is Pandora's, like, signature clasp, I guess. Um, but I just wanted to get this to wear as a snake chain, and then I was going to see what happened. Well, we know what happened. It got out of hand. So, um, the next thing you know, <laughs> it turned into this. So, I'm going to share this. I'm pretty happy with it. And what I've discovered is, and I didn't do this when I first had Pandora, um, have a theme. And I don't really have a theme it's just kind of beads that I liked that went together, and there are a lot of Christmas gifts, too. So it was kind of just what I had. But as I go now, I'm looking for specific beads that I want that kind of represent me or, you know. But for the most part, a lot of these were Christmas presents, like my ring. I got a ring. Christmas presents. And then I just started ordering on my own, too. So, all right, let's get into it. This is a... Poetic Blooms bracelet. Let me, I'm going to zoom in. And I think, oh good, I go pretty close. I also got like the cleaning kit and it comes with this little opener thing because my nails are shot, guys. They went away. I was enjoying my nails for a minute there and then, that you know, they got all cruddy again. All right, so I kind of, oops, let's make sure I'm in the shot. I designed this bracelet around this theme. So I'm, I'm pretty sure the Poetic Blooms came out in spring. I'm not positive because I've only been doing this a little while, but it has a daisy, like a white enamel daisy, a pink, I think it's a magnolia flower, it has a little CZ in the middle, and then there's a CZ daisy in there. And it's like a clip clasp, and then it's the same on both sides. So a lot of these beads are kind of on this bracelet to go along with that theme and I'll do my best to tell you the names of them I have a little list here I wrote some of them down um, like this one and I know that some are retired or you know they're limited uh, not really they're retired and so some may be retired I'm not positive if they are but um, you know there's a chance that some of them are I can tell you if I think they are so this one says hope and I really love hope this one I got for Christmas hope is an important thing to have you've always got to have hope and it's just um, the word is spelled out in little pink CZ's let me make sure I stay in the shot oops my dog wants to come in of course uh, hello there what's up all right 
so that one I got for Christmas. Joe and I went to the outlet. We have an outlet here in Atlantic City, and um, so we had fun, but I couldn't have anything till Christmas. So then the next one is a spacer bead, and it's called the Darling Daisy Spacer. So it's just, again, the white enamel flowers, and I just liked it because I like my bracelets to be all different sizes and shapes. Like, I definitely have an eclectic um, style. I like, you know me, I'm a color person. Anyway, so that's what's true. So these Muranos, now my other bracelets that I had previously, I did not have Muranos on my bracelets. I have one, and this absolutely, um, I love it, but I never, this was this was the only one and it didn't get stolen for whatever reason, because it, it wasn't on my bracelet. <laughs> That's why, because I never put them on my bracelets. But I am all of a sudden in love with Murano's and I will be getting more for sure. Now I got these three, the three on this bracelet from eBay, and they were $29.99, um, $29 so 10 bucks a piece. And Murano's are like 40 bucks for like your cheapest Murano which is like an Italian glass bead, I'm pretty sure. They go up to 55, 50, 40, 45, yeah. So I was thrilled to get them, and I just thought they would be perfect on this bracelet. So this one happens to be a Disney one. So let's see if I can... So on the side it says Pandora, and then on the other side it says Disney. And Disney also does... Um, Pandora does Disney, and right now they're doing like a princess collection. So this one is for Aurora, who is Sleeping Beauty. And I didn't choose these. They came as a set. So these three pink beads were what they were, and I just liked them and ordered them. But I didn't realize that this was a Disney one. And I found out today, I watched... Um, Gosh, I don't remember her name, but I've been watching a lot of Pandora videos. She said that the Disney ones, um, all the Princess Muranos are glow in the dark. So I haven't glowed it in the dark yet, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> so I was waiting for the, there's three I got today. I got this one today and this one today and another little spacer um, before I shared it with you. But I, you guys know I have Kiwi. I have, I've just acquired another a parakeet. She was, a, she was a gift, I, um, anywho. So I've had birds and I love birds and think they're fantastic little critters. And this one's called the Dove of Peace Dangle. And it has, it's just a little bird with it. It's like it's landing, he's so precious. And there's little CZs on the top, which I love. So it adds something, you know, whatever. So that was new today. And then this one was a must have. This one is called the Dazzling Daisy Fairy Charm. And I'm going to try, oh good, you can totally see it. But I'll try to keep my big fingers out of it. But see, there's a little fairy sitting there. And you can see she has CZs on her wings. And there's a daisy right there with CZs. There's two enamel butterflies in pink. With another daisy, another um, fairy. So I, this was a must have. This one was definitely on my must-have list, and I got it at the outlet. So I'm not sure, like, um, I think retired, not retired, not retired, retired, not retired. But I don't know for sure. Because I think at the outlet they sell things that aren't retired as well, but they might be full price. Like, I'm still not completely sure about the whole way they do things. Um... This little guy I got today is called a forest fairy, and I am in love. And you know what was funny? I just got this today on, e it was from eBay, and I really thought it was much bigger than this, but it's kind of a petite charm compared, considering what it is, that it's like a mushroom with a little fairy, and if you look at it, it has little dots on top of the toadstool, and her little legs... Are right there and she's just sitting there and she has arms and she has wings super cute the next one is called follow the follow the stars or the pink pave with stars I'm not sure because when you get things this one was at the outlet though um, 
like it doesn't come up on your receipt or anything like what it's called and stuff so I just do my best to kind of I researched it and tried to find it and this one bothers me because I, I mean actually it's looking pretty good in the um, video but it looks kind of like I have this my son got me this one where is it I love this pave heart and I have a plan for this one <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's bad I'm sorry but um, it just this looks so much brighter to me and this one just looks dark like like I don't know anywho it's on here and I like it all right this one is a clip now on Pandora bracelets you have these little thread areas oh, my doggy is on there so you have these little threads and it keeps your bracelet in sections so that it evenly all your charms won't roll down into one section but anyway this is just the signature clip I'm pretty sure I got this at Jared let's see it's called the Pandora clip I think it's just the signature clip and it has Pandora on it so that's like kind of um oh dear I'm sorry all right so this is my second Murano this one is called the looking glass in pink because I think they do a style of it like this style but they do it in a bunch of different colors so this is the pink looking glass and then this next bead was a must-have had to have it and I got this one eBay but I did I I know Pandora still has it but it was sold out it, it was sold out everywhere and I just really had to have it because I thought it really played well with my fairy but if you look at it there's it's called dragonfly meadow and there's a dragonfly which those of you who watch my videos might I might have said it before if I get another tattoo which I don't think I will but it would be a dragonfly I just love them he's a little pave dragonfly and then there's like flourishes and there's a flower and another dragonfly it's just too cute all right now this little fairy I think she's called like the fairy tale fairy tale dangle charm and she's holding a little wand or a flower and she has a little um, 14 karat gold heart on her belly so she's like a two-tone charm I'm pretty sure I had this one on my other bracelet so I'm so excited to have that and I love dangles like I had a lot of dangles I only have one two three and then this one might be a dangle but um I'll get more dangles this one I got for Christmas from my son and I'm pretty sure this was in the springtime because um, I think it's called springtime enamel and it has a dragonfly a butterfly and a daisy and a magnolia flower so it totally ties in with the clip with my clip I love it love it love it and look at the side like they I don't think they had anything like this when I was collecting I'm just saying I don't remember anything like this so this is like totally new within the last couple years I I don't really remember this at all but there's little butterflies like cut into the side and the next one is a little carriage and it's called <whistles> Royal Carriage. And there's another one that they did for Cinderella, but it's more like pumpkin shaped and it has like a different. So this is kind of like was their generic one that they did first, I think. And then when they started doing the Disney line, they made that one. But if you look at this one, it has like a little person sitting in there. Can you see that little person? I think it's a person. And there's like a gold crown with a little pearl on top. Love it. And then this is a clip. It is called the Twinkle Star Clip. And I really like this one. And I'm not necessarily a star person. Like I never thought of myself. But I like I'm more hearts. But this is so pretty. Like I really love this clip. I don't know why. Like I might get another one of them. Like I could put two, two of the same of clips. But I like to have. I don't like to repeat. So even if I had Muranos. I'd like to put different Muranos. And this one was another gift for Christmas. This is called the Two Tone Vintage Heart. And it's just like a really lacy heart with a nice big gold heart on both sides. I love this bead. I love it. So this is like the last section is my little heart section. 
I have the next one, of course, is my palette. So this is like my very first, I ordered this one and the two clips. They were my first beads that I got, but they didn't have a palette when I collected. They, I think I had a palette from um, the other brand. Oh gosh, it just went out of my head. And it, it wasn't a dangle or anything. And um, I put it on my Pandora bracelet. But anyway, I love this. I'm so glad they did a palette. It's so pretty. I love it with the little brush that dangles. And this one is another spacer. So see how the spacers are a little smaller? Like this is actually even smaller than this one. Like it's thinner. Um, and this is called the Space in My Heart Spacer. So this probably comes in other colors, or it, it probably comes in at least clear and pink, but I got it in pink. So this is really pinky. I love it. And then this is my love, um, sparkling love charm. So it says love, but look at the O. It's a heart, and there's just pink CZs that spell love. And then I think I had this charm, too, on my other, on my old bracelet. And this one's been around a while, so I, I want to say this one's retired. Um, I know the palette's new, um, but a lot of these might have been retired because I definitely got a lot of them at the outlet or eBay. And just be careful on eBay. One of the things I've seen on eBay is just make sure it says Pandora. If, the, if it says authentic silver, blah, 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 but it doesn't say Pandora, it could be a knockoff. So I just always make sure that it says Pandora on the description. Like this one that I just got from eBay, it says authentic, oops, sorry, Pandora, see, Dove of Peace Pendant Charm. So I don't know, that's, that's kind of, I, have, I haven't, I don't think I've gotten a knockoff from eBay. They really, I've compared them to other pictures and stuff. But anyway, this one's called Heart Lock and Key. And they have it in all silver or um, CZs, but this one's the two-tone. It has a little gold key with a heart. And then, and the other thing, let me zoom back up for a minute. I want to show you something. Because one important thing to know about it, it all your charms could fall off. Back when I collected most of the charms had had the um, threads on it. Like you had to screw your charms on. Most of them, you had to do that. But look, if I go like this, like they'll just fall off because not all of the charms have threads anymore. So, you know, it's interesting, but make sure if you don't, they have a little, um, like a safety chain that you can buy that you would clip on the ends to make sure your beads don't fall off. But for me, I just made sure that I, when I finished layering all my stuff on here, that I put a, a either a threaded bead, I'll, I'll probably get another little clip too, just to make sure, but make sure you put a threaded bead at the bottom so that they don't fall off. So that's it, and I'm really happy. Like, I'm totally taking a break now. Um, there is, Oh, they've already put out a Valentine. Speaking of which, Origami Al has their Valentine's charms out too. But um, I'm going to take a break. And because I, I do have a list of things that I want to go on this bracelet. And I'll start tra trading things out. Um, and then uh, work toward, like, I want to get a little Robin. I want the Ladybug. Um, so anyway, uh, but I wanted to show you too. This is the seven and a half inch bracelet. And here's the thing about Pandora. This is a seven inch bracelet and it sits right here. I like my bracelets kind of tighter. Like I guess I could wear uh, sevens. Seven's the most comfortable for me. But I got a seven and a half because when you put the beads on there, it gets smaller. So it's not, it's deceiving. So just, it'll be a little big at first, but you want it a little bigger so that when you put your, when it's filled up, and you don't have to fill it, but I mean, I just filled it, of course, because I can't stop, and um, that, I'll show you where it hangs. It hangs right about at that same area. Now, when it's, when it was loose, so let's see if I can get this on. Shouldn't be doing this on camera because it's so fiddly, and they'll fall off. But, like, this is a seven and a half, 
and it'll hang much lower because it's not full. So when this was classed, you see what I'm saying? So and on, in the back of the guide, and when, even when I was at Jared, the guy showed me, he's like, you should at least be able to stick your thumb inside of it or something when it's empty. Um, and they teach you, you know, they just tell you that about it. So, um, but yeah, so I did get the little puppy. Well, I'll show you what else I got. Sorry, I might as well. This is just more stuff that I got for Christmas. I got this little box. This is just like a little, um, I guess if you were going away or something, a little to-go kind of jewelry holder. You could pack your jewelry in here, right? Because it's kind of small. Um, but yeah, you could fit a couple bracelets. There's a little ring section. And there's these little pouches. So I got that. I got the cleaning set. This has like a little brush that comes with it and some cleaning cloths and stuff. I got that. Um, and then this one came with, I got an ornament too, like a snowflake ornament that was like, I don't know if it's porcelain or whatever, but it's like china, you know, it's made of glass. So let me open this because I want to, this is the bangle and it has a snowflake. I'll zoom in. And they, they make all different class now. I'm telling you, I don't remember this when I collected. They didn't have all these different ones that they have now. But this has like a snowflake on it. And you open it the same way as the other ones. But it's like you want to go side to side when you open it because it's like a jump ring. You don't pull it apart. And you just put it on that way. And this, I think, is a seven and a half, too. Um, I can't get it clasped because I'm on camera. But anyway, it came with this charm which is like a little snowflake ornament. It has CZs in the ribbon, and there's just little snowflakes all around it. It's super cute. And it actually has an engraving. It says, um, unique as you are. It's hard to say. But it's just like, I can feel it. It's engraved on the side. And I think they make other bangles too, and they all say something different. Um, so this was the snowflake one. And then I also got the Santa charm. I got a couple Christmas charms for Christmas. But I put Santa, oops, he's got to go that way. I put Santa on here. Um, but I like it. I like the bangle. It's super pretty. I got Santa and I got this little puppy dog. Because I have a doggy, my Kirby. But it has a little snow hat on, like a little Santa hat little doggy, a little Santa carrying his sack and it's like red enamel. Super cute. With He has like a black belt too. didn't realize that before. Um, like I said, I got this. It was a gift for Christmas. This, like, I don't even know. I think they, these might be birthstone hearts. I didn't look this one up, but it's just got a pretty red. And this, like I said, it's going to go with my Robin. Like, I'm going to order that. Um, this was my Murano. This is, I think, I want to say it's Elsa's crown. I got that for Christmas, too. Um, let me think. I want to say Elsa's. I could look it up, but I know that they've done a couple different crowns and tiaras. But I think this one is Elsa's. I don't see it saying Disney. Maybe, maybe they don't, but I think this is Elsa's crown. And then this is just a pave butterfly with like butterfly cutouts on it and I think that's it so see this was my bracelet that I originally was just gonna wear and see what happened and then it exploded into this <laughs> all right you guys sorry I can never keep anything quick but um that is what's on my Pandora bracelet all right happy new year and thanks for watching